Hey guys, this is Unips of Fantas here, and today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the bush light clash at the LA Coliseum. So yeah, and you can also tell that um, this style for the race reviews has also changed right here. So yeah, no longer am I doing it with diecast, but now I am going to be doing it like this here, like showing pictures and um, and talking about it over it. So yeah. But, I mean, just, see, so yeah, let's get started here. So, as you can tell by the car being shown right here, Mark Truck Jr. managed to win the bush like Clash here. And, yeah, I mean, I believe this is also his first ever Clash win. So, yeah, but unless if I'm wrong here about that. But, yeah, I mean, just, but, I mean, just still, I mean, great job the Truck's on winning. I mean, after his winless uh, season last year. So, yeah, I mean, just, I mean, this is a good start for him in Joe Gibbs. So, yeah. So, yep, so good job for him. So, yeah. But, I mean, basically, we have a lot to talk about here from um, all of this here from um, the Clash, Heat Races, Last Chance Qualifiers, and all that. So, yeah, so let's get started. So, I mean, starting with the Heat Races that began, I mean, just, yeah, I mean, we had some wrecks and spins in it. So, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, we had some stuff here, but, I mean... The heat winners from the four heat races were Amarillo in Heat 1, Trix in Heat 2, um, Hamlin in Heat 3, and Byron in Heat 4. And then, like, then we did the last chance qualifiers, and My Michael McDowell won last chance qualifier 1, and Chase Lee won last chance qualifier number 2. So, yeah. But, I mean, just, I mean, in fact, in Heat 2, we had a really close finish between... Harvick and Chase Elliott for the last spots. Like, this happened, like, after Stenhouse moved Chase Elliott up the track. And, yeah, I mean, but, and yes. Uh, but, I mean, it, it was after that there where Harvick just came on the inside and managed to pass Chase Elliott. And also, we heard something in the background that was just a notification from something else. So, just ignore that. So, yeah, but, I mean, just, but, but that's not there. But, I mean, just... Yeah, I mean, it was pretty close there, and if you guys grass, no, I don't hate Kevin Harvick anymore since I said, no, I'm not going to hate him anymore since I think he's a good driver. So, yeah. But, yeah, but other stuff that happened from, like, the other heat races, one notable one that happened from um, Heat 3, it looks like here. Yeah, I mean, this happened when Ryan Blaney bumped into the back of Todd Gillen, which that ultimately caused, uh, caused Todd Gillen... To bump into Ryan into Chris or Bell, which then caused Bell to spin out, and that ultimately cost him a spot there, and he had to go to the last chance qualifier one, and thankfully he still made it in the clash. But I mean, honestly, that was Blaney's fault for what he did right there. I mean, I don't know what he was doing there. I mean, he was maybe trying to push Todd Gillen, but it just didn't work, and it caused Bell to spin out. But yeah, I mean, I like Blaney though, but still, I mean, that was just kind of stupid. But yeah, I mean, just, but I mean, just, but that's not there, so yeah. And basically, afterwards, in the, in other words, there weren't any incidents in Heat 4, neither the last chance qualifiers, like, and even from Heat 2, Cinder uh, and spun out, and Harris and Burton spun out in Heat 1. But yeah. But then moving on to, um, the, the main event, the Clash, um, there were honestly a lot of spins and incidents in this here. Like the first one happened when Eric Jones spun out. Then Blaney got stacked up. And then just that caused traffic jam. And ultimately caused Chase Elliott to get damaged. And uh, yeah I mean there's a lot here. Like even AJ Allmendinger spun out at one point. Um, I think. Yeah I mean it did happen uh, once. I mean, he, I mean he got spun a few times in this race here. Like twice I, I think. So, yeah, but so we just, but I mean, there was just lots of incidents here. And, like, even in fact, at one point, Chastain wrecked Hamlin again for the third time, which, yeah, I mean, just, but basically, it just feels like this rival is never going to stop right here. 
And yeah, even also at one point, Michael McDowell was wrecked. So yeah, I mean, and that, I think that caused Ty Gibbs to get damaged, which yes, this is the start of his rookie season. And yeah, even Harvick got spun out at one point by Todd Gillen by like pushing him. And then basically later Harvick got back at Todd Gillen. So yeah, and I mean, just, there was just lots of incidents here. Like I, I can't remember just like of some of these that happened. Like, I'm trying to remember what happened here or for some of these incidents, but it's, it's hard to remember. I mean, I think we got to, like, around 16 cautions last night. But, yeah, I mean, but, I mean I'll just look back uh, at it here. Yeah, and so, I mean, but, I mean, just, we just, just had lots of caution here. At, yeah, I was right. I mean, there was a total of 16 cautions here. So, yeah. So, but, I mean, just, but, I mean, there was just, just so many of them. And, of course, like, at another point, um... Even my driver, Kyle Busch, and um, his new car, since he's now in RC Racing, got spun up by Joey Logano, which, yeah, I mean, you guys, of course, know I do not like Joey Logano. After some of his stuff he's done in the past, I just can't tolerate it, so yeah. And yeah, and even I also remember that um, um, I think Almanegger got spun out another time by camera. And even I also... Even one thing else from last night was also Ryan Priest, and Priest was actually doing a very great job last night. Like, he was running third for some of the uh, laps, like, even under red flag laps, and even he took the lead at one point, but ultimately he couldn't win it because he was having, like, electrical issues. But yeah, I mean, but I mean... The, Still, I mean, I mean, he was doing a great job. I mean, if he would have won, that would have been so amazing for him in his first race in Stuart Haas. But yeah, but I mean, just, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it would have been so cool if he would have won it. But yeah, I mean, and it was a total of like about five cars out of the race last night. I mean, two of them were actually for fuel issues, and they were both the front or motorsport cars. And Cindric, he had an engine in, engine issue. And Ty Gibbs and Eric Jones both had suspension issues. So, yeah. Like, I mean, I thought for a moment, like, McDowell was having an engine problem. But then I later found out he ran out of fuel. So did Ty Gillen. So, yeah. But then after that McDowell caution, um, um, like, there was also an incident with Bubba Wallace and Austin Dillon where Bubba got into the wall after running so well last night. Like, like yeah, I mean, Bubba was just doing so good. I mean... Trying to look here. No, I, mean, I mean, he actually led about 40 laps last night. I mean, it would have been cool if he would have won, like, in the year of 2023. Like, what Joe Logano did last year in the Clash, where he won in the year 2022. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. And, and Priest also led about 43 laps. So, Priest basically led the most laps in the race. And Denny Hamlin led about 26 before, like... But earlier in the race, he was pushed up the track by Bob Wallace. So, yeah, but, I mean, still, and, but, I mean, just, but overall, I mean, just, this race was overall pretty good, but, I mean, I'm being honest, I mean, just, I don't think this, this track would be good for a points-paying race because of how small it is, like, it's seriously more smaller than Bristol, Martinsville, and Richmond, but, yeah, but, I mean, I would think it's just, it's just fine as, as the Clash if they want to do this again in 2024, but still, we'll just find out where that goes when we get to 2024. But we're still a long way until then. But yeah, I mean, just, but I mean, so I mean, but that's what I have to say there about this race here. I mean, just overall, pretty good start for 2023. So yeah, but I mean, just, but, but that's what I have to say there. So yeah, I mean, and also I hope you guys enjoy this new style of, um, um, race reviews here. I'll see if I'll be able to do these more often here, like for the style, or I might go back to the diecast stuff. But yeah, I mean, we of course still have an off weekend because of the Super Bowl coming up. But then we'll be back at Daytona again for the duels and the Daytona 500. So I'll do races over both of them. So yeah. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.